Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're gonna look at the Snailco uh, Smart Stationary Training Exercise Bike for at home, or in my case, in the office. That's actually being crowdfunded right now as we speak, so they sent me one to check it out, so uh, without further ado, let's have a look. Let's go. So here it is, the Snailco. In the box, it came with just the bike, pretty much fully mounted. I only had to add the feet, add the saddle and the handles and connect two wires on the bottom and it's ready to go. Um, it came upside down in the box and it had a wooden plank attached to the bottom. You had to just literally screw that off and attach the, the feet that it's standing on. The Snilco is just one by one meter by 57 centimeters in size. It weighs in at about 38 kilograms. It's got an adjustable handlebar and adjustable seat that both can be adjusted from the handlebar. The seat can also be moved forwards or backwards, but you have to do that manually. The Snilco has a whole bunch of sensors that can be used to automatically adjust the tension or the resistance based on how you're sitting on the bike. It's got a little till light that indicates whether it's connected to Bluetooth and it will indicate the resistance level that you're currently in going from green, blue, purple to red with red being the highest resistance. It's got slip resistant pedals with adjustable straps. On the handlebar it's got a dial that can be used to manually increase or decrease the resistance level in 36 steps and it also changes color based on the resistance level that's set. On the handlebar, it's got buttons on the left and right to adjust both the seat as well as the handlebar's height. And it's got Bluetooth to connect to the Snailco app in which you can uh, track your progress and they've got some riding routes on there as well. So how does it work? Well, once the feet are attached and it's plugged in, you can set the height of the seat and the handlebar to a comfortable height. You can choose to do so through the app as well, where it also has an option to auto detect the right height for you. Once that's set, it will basically be saved as your preferred setting and it will automatically go to that specific setting every time that you launch the app and sit on the bike. Once that's all set, you can simply choose to go on a free biking exercise with or without connecting the app if you uh, don't want that. If you do connect to the app, it will keep track of your speed, how much that you've uh, rode, the resistance, how many calories you're burning, etc. Additionally, you can select a course from the app. They have the free riding course, which is uh, no visuals, and they have these mountain terrains, which will take you to some uh, mountain terrains by constantly changing the resistance when going uphill and lowering the resistance when going downhill. The app will actually show you the terrain in a 3D rendered live view then. Right now there's about three or four available terrains in the app, but they will add new terrains every week. At least that's what they're stating on their crowdfunding page. Another feature that you can enable through the app is to change the resistance automatically by the way that you're sitting on the bike. It does so by measuring your center of gravity. So leaning forward will increase the resistance and leaning more backwards or sitting straight up will decrease the resistance or in reverse as you can reverse this behavior. So if you're like, leaning more forward it will increase the tension and get harder to pedal and if you sit up straight it will lower the tension or vice versa because you can um, swap the behavior in the app so i've been using the snail call for a few weeks now and what are my first thoughts well first i kind of like the minimal looking design it does look uh, a little bit cute it definitely feels comfortable to sit on. The build quality seems good. I've been moving it around to the office. It's got little wheels on the back, so it's quite easy to move around. I like how it's almost got a gradual increase in resistance through its 36 levels. The tail light is kind of fun, although it doesn't add much functionality. I think it's just there for aesthetic purposes. The app is pretty nice. It keeps track of your rides, uh, see if you're improving over time. I like the idea of the terrain renders, but I could have done with just the data. What I do like about that is that it constantly changes the resistance like you would have mountain biking constantly changing slopes going uphill going downhill that really makes it more of a realistic ride if you will i did find that the app 3d renders they're a little bit slow 
as in you feel like you're pedaling really hard, but the animation goes rather slow, like you're moving like at snail speed, I guess. The speed might be something that they can improve in a firmware update later and a app update just to make it feel like you're going faster. Generally, I like the bike. It's nice to be able to do some biking exercise indoors whenever it's raining heavily or when it's just too hot to go out. Like we've had over 50 degrees here recently and then it's just too hot to go biking outside. 